This is the Trifield TF2 EMF meter. In this short video, I'm going to give you a brief description of the meter. I'm going to talk about the different categories of EMFs that you can measure using this meter. I'm going to talk about the different sources of EMFs that you can measure using this meter. I'm going to show you a simplified way of using this meter. I'm going to explain to you the three most important things you need to understand and know about this meter and lastly I'm going to walk you through the pros and cons of this meter so you can decide if it's the right EMF meter for you. So the first thing you'll notice about the Trifield TF2 is its size, nice handy size, sits nicely in your hand, no external antenna, nothing protruding, uh, it feels nice and solid, feels quality, when you shake it, there's no rattle. And thirdly, uh, the, in terms of bottoms and switches, all there is is this selector switch here, which makes it apparently very simple to use. And I will explain to you in more detail in a moment how exactly to use it. So the Trifield TF2 can measure magnetic fields, it can measure electric fields, and it can measure radio frequency radiations. And these are just different categories and different frequencies of electromagnetic fields on the EMF spectrum. And it gives you these readings for uh, electric fields and magnetic fields. It, it gives you both sta a standard reading and a weighted reading. And these are just different ways of calculating the readings. So with your Trifield TF2 on electric mode and magnetic field mode, you can measure EMFs from things like your electrical wiring, from your fuse box or consumer unit, from electrical appliances in your home, in your kitchen, in your living room, in your bathroom, uh, all around your home, and also uh, externally uh, EMFs from overhead power lines, and from transformer units. And if you have your Trifield TF2 meter on radio frequency mode, then you can measure radio frequency radiation from things like cell phones, cell towers, cordless phones, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, smart meters, um, microwave ovens, um, FM radio towers, etc. So I'll move the selector switch to mag to measure the magnetic fields. The LCD display comes to life. The big digits at the bottom here tell us the current field measurement reading for magnetic fields, which is shown in mg or milligauss. And above that is a bar graph here, which gives us the reading, the same reading in a bar form on a scale of zero to a hundred. The top left we've got the peak measurement unit. This captures the highest peak in milligauss that has been measured and holds it for three seconds. And the icon at the bottom left tells us we've got the audio function switched on. The top right here we've got the battery level indicator. So here I've got an electric razor. Watch what happens as I switch this electric razor on. And as I move it away the magnetic fields fall off. And if we move the selector switch to ELEC, so now we're measuring electric fields. The big digits at the bottom now tell us the current field measurement for electric fields. And you can see it's actually reacting to my finger. <laughs> um, and we have a reading in VM now. And VM means volts per meter. Above that is the bar graph here, the bar graph again, which gives us the same information on a scale of 0 to 100. Top left we've got the peak measurement unit in VM um, which tells the, the, the highest peak that's been measured and holds it for three seconds. And again with the electric razor we have a small, albeit smaller, uh, electric field uh, than previously. But then there is nevertheless an electric field. And then if we move the selector switch into the dark blue area, then we move, so the dark blue area here, yes, as opposed to the light blue area, it's not very clear, but um, there is a light blue and a dark blue. So we're in the dark blue here, 
and this tells us we're on the weighted mode so weighted yes on the weighted mode setting uh, for for in this case magnetic fields um, and we have the same functionality for electric fields and this makes the meter more sensitive at frequencies higher than 60 Hertz as opposed to the standard mode which is what I was on before which measures the fields using a flat frequency response now that might sound a little bit confusing but there's more complete information on my website about this and then if we move the selector switch to the far right where it says RF then we are now measuring radio frequency microwave radiation and the big digits are the big digits at the bottom here which is currently a zero um, that's giving us a reading in MW M squared which means milliwatts per square meter and again we have the peak measurement unit which is now operating in milliwatts per square meter also captures the highest peak that's been measured holds it for three secs the same as for the other modes so I've got a walkie talkie here okay and I'm gonna switch this on well it's actually switched on I'm gonna press on the bottom to action it you're gonna watch what happens and we immediately get a signal and if I move it away even you see we get less of a signal and that's what radio frequency radiation sounds like on this meter and that's very simply how it works so the first thing to know and understand about the Trifield TF2 is it has really good magnetic field functionality for the money um, and this is really typical of the Trifield meters and um, this TF2 version uh, continues in that vein. Second thing is that it does actually have a backlight and an audio function which you can access by taking off the back cover here and I don't know if you can see but there's two uh, little red buttons on there and the top one is for the light and you see we've got three settings so um, and the bottom button is for the sound function and I don't know if you can hear when I'm holding it but uh, it is actually reacting uh, you can hear uh, sounds a bit like a, a Geiger counter and the sound function is really useful because it enables you to get a notion of the readings without actually looking at the, the display the third thing to not understand is that it has vastly improved radio frequency uh, mode uh, sensitivity and that really is uh, an important point So firstly for the pros of the Trifield TF2, first thing is it's Trif mode functionality which means it can measure three different categories of electromagnetic fields which is a bit, means it's a bit like having three meters in one which is certainly not the case of a lot of meters uh, on the market. But so that, that is a big plus in itself. Second thing is, is it's sensitivity uh, firstly in a magnetic field mode so it's got good sensitivity and good accuracy and also good uh, sensitivity in electric field mode right down to one volt per meter. The third thing I like about this meter is it's easy to use. It really is a meter which you just take out of the box, you switch it on and really you're good to go. It's very simple uh, to use. The fourth thing I like is the audio uh, functionality. I really do like uh, meters with an audio functionality because you get more information and it's very liberating because you don't have to actually have your eyes riveted uh, on the screen to understand what the readings are. And lastly, what I like is its price because it is um, it, it, it does offer good value for money, it's got good function, functionality and really uh, for the price it is, uh, to my mind, uh, a, good, a good deal. So my biggest gripe about the Trifield TF2 is its sensitivity in RF mode. So it is better than the previous version of the Trifield meter, way, way better. But uh, it has a resolution only going down to 0.1 milliwatts per square meter, uh, which makes it significantly less sensitive than, for instance, the Cornet ED88T, 
plus all the acoustic meter and that is an important point. The second point is the frequency range, so the frequency so it measures up to 6 gigahertz. Again, other RF meters now, uh, recent meters are measuring up to 8, uh, 8 gigahertz and more, so I would have liked it to go higher, particularly given that we're moving into the area of 5G and the Internet of Things and that the wireless industry is going to be exploiting all these higher frequencies. And the third thing is, um, I don't actually like these having these two different modes on here. I think it's confusing and I think that most people won't gain any benefit from that. And the fourth thing is just a very small point is I, th I don't particularly like having to go into the battery uh, compartment at the back to get to the backlight and to get to the audio function, but that's a small point. So there you have it, that's my review of the Trifield TF2 meter. It's a great meter for measuring magnetic fields, it's an okay meter for measuring electric fields, but if you're wanting to measure radio frequency, radiation, this meter is not my first choice. So you can read a more detailed review of this meter on my website, and if you have any questions or comments, then you can put them uh, in the comment section. My name is Lloyd Borrell from electricsense.com, Thank you. Have a great day.